Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a mock-up inside Silhouette Studio. If you're new, I'm Kelsey from PoofyCheeks.com where I share tons and tons, as a matter of fact, hundreds of free cut files that you can use with your Silhouette and Cricut cutting machines. So I've done videos before on how to create mock-ups and I recently did a video on how to create mock-ups in Cricut Design Space, but I have not done a video on creating mock-ups in Silhouette Studio. So if you are unfamiliar with the mock-up, a lot of times I use them in my Etsy shop. Um, they're a way that I can put a design on top of a t-shirt just the way it would look when I make it and sell it, but I don't have to actually make it. And if a shirt is popular or not so popular, I'm not worried about being stuck with a shirt that's mm, not so popular. So let's look here. I have Silhouette Studio open on my computer. And what you're gonna wanna do first is open a PNG file. So for today's video, we are going to use, let's just use this best teacher ever. So we've got that opened. Then we're gonna open a mock-up. And I recently purchased a signed mock-up from Etsy. Let's go to the mock-up folder and find one of those. So what we're gonna do is resize this mock-up. It's a little too big. We're just gonna put it on our screen here in Silhouette Studio. Um, another tutorial that I shared is how to create mock-ups in Canva, but the issue with that is if you purchase a design in Silhouette Studio or you create your own design inside Silhouette Studio, it's hard to get that saved as a PNG file to then use in Canva. So this is kind of a workaround. See the red square that we're seeing here? We do not wanna see that, so we are gonna turn off show cup border and that red will go away. Now let's go back over to best teacher ever. We're going to copy that and paste it. We're gonna layer it here. We'll get it just right. And you want it to look just the way it's gonna look when you do make it and sell it. So you wanna keep that in mind. If you're doing a t-shirt mock-up, you wanna make sure that the design is basically the same size of what you're gonna actually put on the shirt. Um, I have seen before where people do a mock-up and the design looks really big and then somebody orders the shirt and the design is like only this big. So you do wanna portray the item that you are going to make. The one thing I dislike about Silhouette Studio is sometimes things can look a little blurry. Like the graphics aren't the best because I feel like the lines in this design are kind of eh. But this is the best that we're going to do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot this. I'm using a Mac, so I would do Command Shift 4. And then this little bullseye thing comes up. And I can just drag across the part that I want to screenshot. And now we have a mock-up of this sign. It's important to remember that if you're going to be using these images for Etsy or for Instagram that you want a square image, so you can do the screenshot and then you can open it in Canva or even inside Instagram and then crop that image to be square. So let's try something else. Say we don't want this best teacher ever file to be black, but that's what the PNG is saved as. What we can do is we can use the trace feature, click select trace area and we just are gonna select it all. The good thing about having a design that's black is that it traces seamlessly. So we've selected it, we're gonna hit trace. It's gonna turn it into a cut file. And what we can do at this point is we can change the color. So it traced the outside of that, which is okay. We'll just select it and delete it. So now let's try this again. Let's copy and get rid of the black version. And now we have the pink version on there. You can even, over here in the color palette, um, you can change the fill of it and you can even change the transparency if you wanted to do that. Once you click off of it, you see that it's still red. See up here, we have the fill color and the border color. 
and the border color was set to red. And so that's actually showing where it's gonna cut that design, but we're not cutting it. We're trying to make a mock-up. So we want the transparent. And again, back here, change the color and the opacity. It looks really good. And you would just go ahead and screenshot that again to save it. All right, so at the top, you notice that in Silhouette Studio, you can purchase things from the store or if you have purchased already, they're usually in your library along with anything else that you save to your library. So for the purpose of this, let's just pick this basic leaf wreath. And again, it has that red outline so we can just change that to transparent. We can resize it and put it the way up. Ah, didn't mean to move that one. There we go. Move it down here. If you need to, you can kind of rotate this. If it's a shirt and it's maybe cocked to the side. Um, all right, so we typed out mom. We can change the colors up here in the corner. Um, let's just pick this minty green. Transparent border. And size it the way you want it. And voila. So now we have a sign all mocked up that maybe we are gonna paint a sign that looks exactly like this. The dimensions are gonna be exactly like this, but now we don't actually have to make it. We have it right here, ready to go. When somebody wants to order it, we can just whip it up. These are also really great for Instagram or for blogging, depending on what you do. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we can't wait to have you seeing our next YouTube video.